Hey guys, Laura again. Obviously, if you can't tell, it's the same day as when I made the soap. Um, but right now, I'm going to test out a new recipe. Um, so, as some of you know, I also have a garden. Um, and last year, I was very successful with my lavender. So, I actually am going to use lavender from my garden uh, in this new recipe. Uh, there is the lavender oil, which I did purchase, but all of the little bits of lavender and lavender flowers come from my garden. Um, so check that out. I will definitely be posting pictures of when the bees come and hang out on my lavender plants because that's my favorite part. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we'll get going. I've got everything ready for us. I've got my gloves on, so let's go. All right, so here we go, guys. I've got my double boiler set up again. And we're gonna start off, this one we're gonna do it in a slightly different order because of how quickly the uh, oils heat up versus the beeswax that we use to get the lotion bars to be able to be stable at room temperature. Because there's a lot of moisturizing oils in this recipe, we do need that stabilizer. I happen to use organic beeswax. But this, I'm just starting off with our olive oil, which is great for the skin. It's lovely moisturizing, helps with ashiness, but it's also a little bit more stable than some of our other butters and oils. So uh, it's gonna go in with the beeswax. Now again, I've measured all of these by weight. And we'll get these going. I'm gonna let this melt down and then I will come back with the others as the beeswax is gonna take a little minute because they need a higher temperature to melt. All right guys, so the last of the beeswax has melted and now we're gonna add in some of the other oils. I have turned the heat down to low. Uh, like I said, some of these other oils are a little bit more volatile, so we wanna be just slightly gentler with them. Uh, the first one I'm gonna add in is actually gonna be the shea butter, just cause that one's slightly harder than the coconut oil. And the coconut oil needs a lower temperature when it's added in. So we're gonna actually use the shea butter to help it cool down as it melts it too. So you notice I left it in pretty big chunks. So that's gonna help it slowly cool down. And then we'll add in the coconut butter and then the essential oils. And then finally, we'll add in some of the beautiful lavender from my garden.
All right, so for the last little bit, I'm actually going to use my stick blender and I am going to make sure that all of these oils really got mixed in together. Now the last thing you saw me put in there was actually vitamin E oil. I forgot to mention that I was adding that. But I'll get this going real quick and then I'll add in our essential oils and then I'll get it plated up. Woo! get it into the molds. All right, so while I'm waiting for my main solution to cool down, I'm gonna add in to my molds some of the flowers. And the paper bag you hear is actually what I use to shake off. flower petals. Get that big leaf out of there. And what I'm waiting for is I'm actually waiting for this oil solution or the lotion bar solution to cool down enough to where all the little tiny bits are going to stay, stay suspended within the solution. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting them into The forms. So hopefully when we pour this way, not gonna move all of our petals at the bottom. Sorry, Laura gets quiet when she concentrates. Oh, poop. So if it's your first time here, I don't waste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reheat all of this that's inside this bowl still. And then I'm going to make some teeny tiny little trial bars. So that we can try them out on a small scale. Boy. Looks like I've already made a mistake. If you look in here, haha, <laughs> look at all the tiny little bits of flowers that didn't go into our molds. All right, well, hey, live and learn. I forgot to stir it up really good before I started pouring, and maybe I should have stirred it up kind of in the middle before I moved to another spot. Oh well, here we are. We live and learn. We'll let these cool and set up. Tap out some bubbles a little bit. <laughs> or maybe not. All right, we're going to let these set up and then I will do an unmolding for both the soaps that we made today as well as the lotion bars that we have made today. We'll do that in a couple of days once everything is cooled all the way to the inside and the soap has started to uh, saponify. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe so you can see when I'm doing more next time. And thanks for watching.